Okay, moving right along with our theme for today, which is fun stuff, <laughs> animation and stuff. I'm going to show you another project. This one here is called Animate, and if you download the uh, finished project, you'll see there's a bunch of images in here. These you're probably going to want to get because these are going to show you. Let me just run the project, and you'll see what this does. These are going to show you how to remember those old flip boards. You know, you draw a picture of cartoons on about five, six different boards, and you take the board and you uh, you flip it like this. You show one picture, then the next picture, then the next picture, and you go back and forth. That's what this is doing, actually. So it's really cute. It's using Animate again uh, for animation, and it's about five different images, but you have that feeling like it's animated. So. Let me stop the project. It's kind of big too. I probably could make it a little bit smaller. Yeah? I'm sorry? Okay, hold on a second. All right, so let's continue. And uh, so now we're going to build a little animation guy. He takes about maybe not as much time as the last one did, actually. He's pretty quick. Um, so let's take a look. That's what we're going to build. And uh, you'll see how the images can put in. So why do you want that? Well, you can actually have your own images from your camera for something. And you can show your own images one after another or one on the top of the other around. You can do a bunch of different things with it. Or you can actually do your own animation if you wanted to do it this way as well. I'm not quite sure I'd show a whole video this way. It would be a lot of work in terms of putting it together. But um, So create a single view application. And this one is going to be called... Uh, I don't know. You can call it animation. And then I'm going to call mine animate. And then click on next. And then click on create. So let's see what we're going to do here. Take a look here. Oops, that's the uh, moving ball. Here we go. Here's the animate one. So we need to add the images into the folder. So that's why I said download the solution file because the solution file has the images in there for you. So I have the solution file downloaded. It's called animation. So we're going to start off by putting and copying and pasting the images in here because we have to have something to animate. So I'm going to move this over a little bit. I'm going to click these guys and put them into the folder. And I'm copying them in there instead of linking them directly. So that, uh, and they're conveniently labeled one, two, three, four, five. So if you had a bunch of pictures, you could label them the same way if you wanted to. Actually, I believe there's six of them. You have to copy all six? Yes. Um, copy all six into the same location. I got one, two, three, I'm missing number four. Where's number four? Oops, hiding right here. There we go. Six pictures of some sort. These happen to be GIF files. You can put anything you want in here. It could be PNG files. You can put like five different balls in there if you wanted to. What it's going to do is it's going to show one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, in a loop. It's going to show them. So so I'd slow the loop down if they were not pictures that work together. If you were just going to do like a slideshow or something. Um, which is your choice. You can create a slideshow out of this real easily, actually. So after you've copied the six pictures in, You can pull them from the solution file, or you could just take six random pictures and throw them in there. And uh, I'll show you how to speed up or slow down the animation in a few minutes. You do want to call them, for the purposes of this code, because we are going to put them in, in sort of an array, you, you do want to use the numbers 1 through 6 dot PNG or dot GIF, depending upon what, what kind of images you have. So now when the view did load, when the view loads up, we're going to show the images onto the screen. Um, so in the viewcontroller.m file, we're going to make this change here. We're going to add in a UI image view, animate view, we're going to call it. It's going to be a UI image view alloc. So instead of dragging the image view and sticking it on the screen like we did not do in the last one either, we didn't stick anything on the canvas. We, we took the view and wired that to ball view, but we didn't actually stick an image view on there using the uh, using the storyboard we did it programmatically we're doing the same thing this time around as well but this time we're going to create an array an array with objects and they're going to be UI image objects and the image names are going to be one two three four five six 
So if you change the names of your images, change the names that you've put in here in the code. You can use any names you want, but if you want to be consistent with the code, I labeled them 1 through 6, and they're GIF files. Okay, so now we're going to set the animation duration in this case to 1.25. Well, if you want to make it go like a slideshow, like here's a picture, here's another picture, here, you know, I'd slow it down a little bit. <laughs> so, and then uh, on the repeat count, zero, just to start out with, we're initializing it to that. And then uh, the animation view, we're going to start the animating, start animating. And then self add, add a sub view, add to our sub view the animation view. And the animation view is this animation view we had did here, which is the UI image view. So creating a UI image view, creating a bunch of images, loading the images in to the image view when we run it. So believe it or not, there's no more code left here. That's why I said this one's a pretty easy one. But I wanted to show it to you because it kind of shows you how to programmatically add a UI image view. So what can you do with that? Tons of stuff if you've got an imagination. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to stick it in the project. And I'm sticking this in viewcontroller.m. So all I did to this project was add some images to it. And I'm going to change the view did load to this one. And see what kind of error messages I've got going on here. Oh, probably because I didn't put, hold on a second, let me unpaste this. Probably because I didn't take the top and the bottom of the, I just took the center. <laughs> let me take the whole, if I'm going to replace the whole thing, I should replace it with the whole thing. So let's see. Okay, that looks a little bit better. So let's see what happens when I run it. I've got it working up. <laughs> now, if I wanted to make this run a little bit faster, watch this. We're going to give this guy some coffee. Uh, in the code down here, I'm going to change this to 025. <laughs> I took the 1 out and I put an O in there instead. Now, the guy's on coffee. <laughs> So if you were putting in, and this is the same, this is one image, another image, another image, another image, another image. If you were going to do like a little photo shoot, so here's something you could possibly do. You think, you're, you think your user is going to be bored, they're looking at your app, put a little, put, put something in here like that, right? This is just in the center, you have to locate it, so you use the other one for the balls to get a random position or something or to get a position. Put the image in the image view, and then all of a sudden it changes. Look, it changes again. So you know how they do those little ads that show up in apps, and they come from websites sometimes, and sometimes they're just pictures that come in there. Look, buy this this detergent. Look, buy this whatever. It's an image view, and they populate with the ads, or they pull it from an internet source. It comes in, it goes in, and it just keeps every once in a while, it just keeps swapping the ad out with another one. Well, that's how you can do it. So now you can add advertisements to your apps. So or read very fast. So okay. So believe it or not, we're done with this one. <laughs> so let's go to the next one.